Hopefully this will help you understand all of your options for meds in Escape Room Tarkov. I will go over all of their pricing availability and effectiveness, so first we'll start off with the most important of your meds, your kits. The AI2 is the most basic of your kits. Everybody starts out with them. You get them at level 1 therapist for 3400, have a use time of 2 seconds, HP of 100, but can only recover for a max of 50 HP. The car kit is unlocked after a quest at level 1 therapist for 6000 or 2 duct tape, has a use time of 3 seconds, HP of 220, uses 40 HP when stopping a bleed, and can recover for a max of 70. The IFAC is unlocked after a quest at level 2 therapist for sugar and sodium, or level 3 for 21k, has a use time of 3 seconds, HP of 300, stops blood loss for 30, and can recover for a max of 50 HP. The Slew is unlocked after a quest at level 1 therapist for a can of paid, or level 2 for 15k, has a use time of 3 seconds, HP of 400, stops blood loss for 30 HP, and can recover for a max of 85 HP. And finally, the largest of the first aid kits, the Grizzly, which can be traded for 10 Cricket, 2 Toilet Paper, and 2 Toothpaste at level 2, or 32k at level 4. Has a use time of 5 seconds, HP of 1800, stops blood loss for 30 HP, fixes fractures for 50 HP, and can heal for a max of 175 HP per use. And now for the bandages. The aseptic bandage can be bought from level 1 therapist at 1400, has a use time of 2 seconds, and stops 1 blood loss. The army bandage is unlocked after a quest, can be bought from level 2 therapist for 1900, takes 2 seconds to use, and stops 2 blood losses. For the painkillers, we have the Analgan painkillers, which can be bought at level 1 therapist for 4000, has a use time of 3 seconds, has 4 uses, and lasts for 170 seconds for minus 7 hydration. Next, Augmentin, which can be bought from level 4 therapist for 23,000, takes 5 seconds to use, and lasts for 200 seconds. Ibuprofen can be bought from level 4 therapist for a set of blood and a pile of meds, or 25,000. It takes 5 seconds to use, has 12 uses, lasts for 500 seconds, and takes away 5 hydration. And the morphine, which can be unlocked after a quest at level 4 therapist for 22k, or alternatively on the flea market for 12k, takes 2 seconds to use, lasts for 380 seconds, takes 10 hydration, and adds 10 energy. The immobilizing splint can be bought from level 1 therapist for 2000, and it takes 5 seconds to use, and it fixes 1 fracture. The aluminum splint can be bought from level 2 therapist for 2 syringes, or level 3 therapist for 12k. It takes 3 seconds to use, and has 5 uses. Now for the newest addition to Tarkov, the surgical kits. The CMS can be bought from level 1 Jaeger for 3 nippers, or level 2 Jaeger for 32k. It takes 16 seconds to use, has 5 uses, and can restore 45-60% to HP of a body part that is lost. The better of the two surgical kits, the serve kit, can be unlocked at level 3 Jaeger for 46k after a quest. It takes 20 seconds to use, has 15 uses, and it can remove a fracture for a use, and it restores 80 to 90% HP of a body part that is lost. Neither of the bombs can be bought from any trader, so you can find a perfect Vaseline on the flea market for around 15k. It takes 6 seconds to use, removes pain for 500 seconds, has 10 uses, and removes 2 hydration and 2 energy. A perfect gold star bomb on the flea market goes for around 40k. It can be used in 7 seconds, removes pain for 600 seconds, and recovers hydration and energy for 1 point every second for 5 seconds, and it also gives 4 energy. The ETG charge is unlocked at level 4 therapist for 5 shampoo or 20k on the flea market. It has a use time of 2 seconds and the main pro of 4.5 points of health regeneration a second for 30 seconds and the main con of it draining 50 energy overall. Propitol is unlocked at level 3 therapist for 25k or 10k on the flea market. It has a use time of 2 seconds, removes pain, gives 1 point of health regeneration for 300 seconds and then causes pain, hand tremors and tunnel effect and is craftable in the hideout. Zagustin can be bought at level 4 therapist for 27k or 19k on the flea market. It has a use time of 2 seconds, stops bleeds, prevents new bleeds for 180 seconds, and minus 1.4 hydration recovery for 50 seconds. Adrenaline is unlocked after a quest at level 4 therapist for 29,000 or 18,000 on the flea market. It has a use time of 2 seconds, removes pain for a minute, gives plus 20 endurance and strength for a minute, plus 15 recoil control for a minute, and minus 1 hydration and 0.8 energy for 30 seconds. The SJ-1 Labs pen can be traded at level 2 therapist for 2 syringes and 1 UV lamp or found on the flea market for 20k. It gives plus 25 endurance, strength, and stress resistance for 180 seconds and gives minus energy recovery and minus hydration recovery over 200 second period. 
The SJ6 lab is found to be traded level 4 therapist for sodium chloride and hydrogen peroxide or can be found on the flea market for 25k. Gives 50 additional max stamina for 240 seconds and 2.5 stamina recovery for 240 seconds and gives tunnel effect and hand tremors. This is to show the effect that adrenaline has on recoil control. I don't pull my mouse down either, and adrenaline does give you a tighter grouping and less recoil control overall, but it is very slight. And this is to show the effects of the stems on movement. The adrenaline gives a good boost to stamina, speed, and jump height, and when both of the lab's pens take effect, I lose a chunk of stamina, but that is only because of the max stamina overall increase from them, which would obviously let me run for a lot longer. In case you didn't know, you can bind your meds to any slot that isn't a weapon slot, and this is what I usually run. But if you have an alpha, you can swap out the surf for a CMS, and if you're on a budget, you can use something like this. But if you're not on a budget, you might as well use something like this and run around like you own the place.